Hey, how are you? Ugh. This is a work, right? Black makes you look thinner, right? Is that it? <laughs> uh, this will be 365 day devotional. God is with you every day. A book uh, by Max Lucado. It is a devotional book. God is with you every day. So uh, this will be titled Remember Jesus. 1 Peter 5, 6. You want to take this one? Go ahead. One day she's going to start reading or rubbing up against books. You can't see it on the live feed, but uh, if you watch the YouTube video, GoPro's got a really cool wide-angle lens. Uh, yeah, okay, that's some cat. She just wants to rub it. Remember Jesus. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. 1 Peter 5, 6. Moses served as the prince of Egypt and emancipator of the slaves. Yet Moses was more humble than anyone else. Numbers 12, 3. The apostle Paul knew to go low and not high. He was saved through a personal visit from Jesus, granted a vision of the heavens and the ability to raise the dead. But when he introduced himself, he simply stated, I, Paul, am God's slave, Titus 1.1. 1, 1. John the Baptist was a blood relative of Jesus and one of the most famous evangelists in history, but he remembered in scripture as the one who resolved. He must increase, but I must decrease, John 3.30. We can rise too high, but never stoop too low. What gifts are you giving that he did not give first? What truth are you teaching that he didn't first teach? You love, but who loved you first? You serve, but who served the most? What are you doing for God that he could not do alone? How kind of him to use us. How wise of us to remember. Stephen remembered. And since he remembered Jesus, Jesus remembered him. As Stephen's accusers reached for their rocks, Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, gazed steadily into heaven and saw the glory of God. And he saw Jesus standing in a place of honor at God's right hand. Acts 7, 5, 5. Stephen stood on behalf of Christ, and Christ returned the favor. Remember Jesus, and he will remember you. I think Stephen, I think that triggers a thought with uh, the movie uh, Apostle Paul that uh, came out several months ago. Uh, the young kid, they backed him into a corner and just started throwing rocks at him and he died. It must be Stephen. I'm not too sure, but... If we were on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, I would say final answer for the $100,000 question. <laughs> but I would phone a friend. Who would I phone? I would pray. I'd be like, uh, what's his name? Oh my god. Philbin. 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 That's his last name. That's his first name. I don't know, but I would I'd say, hey, I don't want to phone a friend. Can I just pray for a moment? Pray or have a friend come up here and pray with me? <laughs> Stephen. Stoned. But he saw God. He knew where he was going. Uh, wow. I'm sure before any of that stuff like that happens, that God, uh, God takes our pain away, possibly? I would hope so. I would know so. He's a good, loving God. But that was, Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. First Peter 5, 6. I talked about that a couple of weeks ago. When, and we're here to serve at what whatever level you get at. I mean, because I've had... Uh, you know, I, I don't know if I've, I've fellowshiped, I've witnessed with uh, professional athletes of all type of professions from first it was uh, with baseball. Uh, baseball, then mostly now track and then triathlon and uh, we're all the same. We're all the same and with doctors, lots of doctors, lots of uh, wealthy people, but we are here to serve. As soon as they forget to humble themselves, and become low like everybody else because Jesus did that unconditional love and humbled himself and served you know as soon as we forget that that's when things start going wrong God God may look down and go 
I'm not getting that quite right. I sent that person to you specifically. But he knows how we're going to respond. That's how, that's how we get refined. Refined. So something clicks later on. That's why I always give people grace or the benefit of the doubt, you may say. Uh, because I know I'll show them grace or strike one, strike two, strike three. Grace to grace to grace. But hoping that one day it will click in their mind. Dang. Jeremy could have done this or said this, but he didn't. He kind of didn't say anything, didn't do anything. He just responded just peacefully. I mean, I would hope that's what people do with me, too. Uh, I don't know. I always just go, how would Jesus respond? So, that's it. What was that? First Peter 5? Oh, oh it's gonna... Oh, I'm gonna have to find Peter. Have you seen Peter lately, Stormy? All right, let's see what we got. Uh, John. Uh, first Peter. To the elders among you, I appeal as a fellow, fellow elder, a witness of Christ's sufferings, and one who also will share in the glory to be revealed. Be shepherds. Oh, this is my favorite, because John 21. Be shepherds of God's flock that is under your care serving as overseers not because you must but because you are willing as god wants you to be not greedy for money but eager to serve not lording it over those entrusted to you but being examples to the flock and when the chief shepherd appears you will receive the crown of glory that will never fade away young men in the same way be submissive to those who are older Clothe yourself with humility to toward one another because God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. Humble yourselves therefore under God's mighty hand that he will that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him. Standing firm in the faith, because you know that your brothers throughout the world are undergoing the same kind of sufferings. And the God of our grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm and steadfast. To him be the power forever and ever. Amen. Hmm. First Peter 5. The very popular one is 1 Peter 5, 5, 8. 1 Peter 5, 8. So if you ever say, say to somebody, remember John 10, 10 and 1 Peter 5, 8. Uh, those ones warning against the enemy. Uh, be self-controlled and alert. Alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Listen to that. This is actually true. This is truth, right? Resist him, standing firm in the faith, believing in Jesus Christ and what Jesus Christ and God said. Resist him, standing firm in your faith, because you know that your brothers throughout the world are undergoing the same kind of suffering. And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. To him be the power forever and ever. After you suffer just a little while, it's not much. That's that refining process, that pressure process that builds you up. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, it's pretty amazing, like I say, when you know that you have a promise there, and you have truth there, and you have a foundation uh, to live by, something to believe in and to work towards, the standard that Jesus has set, that God, Father God, uh, Heavenly Father has set by sending his sa <laughs> the Savior, his Son, his only begotten Son, to die for us, but prior to that, to, to live for us, to show us how to actually live and what to do, to humble ourselves and serve in unconditional love, but draw as close as you can and pursue his Father as much as you can, much as you can, because uh, we're going to be with him in paradise. Paradise. But I do believe heaven comes on earth. I think it did today. It's beautiful weather outside. 
I mean, if you have an opportunity to walk outside, especially walking in a group or with somebody, it's awesome. But alone with God is awesome. Alone with God, with worship music or Bible scriptures or just something peaceful. I'm not talking yoga or meditation, but you better be meditating on the Word of God and nothing else. All right? Um, yeah, you could listen to, if you go to Julie True, Julie True Radio on Pandora, just look up Julie True. That works perfect. Yeah, that's a pretty awesome stuff. Dr. Al Huba is the one that told me about, about her, but there's many more. Amanda? Amanda? I don't know. Remember to pray. Pray getting closer to the relationship with your father by talking to your father all throughout the day. And praying that he's with you, and he's with you, especially if in your prayer. And, and the one that gets closer to him, closer to him, he's the one that is closer to you. <sighs> draw near to him, and he'll draw near to you. And that's all that's about. And like I said the other day, who's he going to bless? Somebody that's closer, somebody that's farther. He's going to bless the somebody that's closer. He's going to take care of all of his children because he loves all of his children. He's going to bless the one that's closer in doing his will and fulfilling the purpose that he has. So remember that. Some of us have a huge purpose too. It shouldn't be a lot of pressure. You should be really content and it should just be fun to you because it just naturally comes to you, whatever it is. So it should never feel like work or there shouldn't be nervousness because you have everything inside of you. Uh, for this moment, for this day. And if you don't, you're working on it right now, being refined. Cool, right? For what you ultimately have, whether it's Tokyo 2020, or I don't know if it's some final exam or some school you're supposed to go to or some presentation. I hope the presentation's something you want to give it on. Uh, but a lot of us, <laughs> if you get me to do a presentation, we're going to put God in there. We're gonna, God's gonna show up somehow because we can't help because it's overflowing in us. So when the Holy Spirit's in us, it just flows out like a fountain and just wants to come out. Uh, yeah. Disappointing things. Let's see, two years ago, it might have been two or three years ago, Dr. Duke gave an awesome, awesome um, talk, I think, to the city of Claremont. And a lot of people showed up, Christians, non Christians. He's a devout Christian, his whole family is, is, um, but somebody came back to the National Training Center in the personal training office and said, it got too preachy. And I was like, dang. And I'm pretty sure she was a Buddhist or practiced Buddhism, a white lady too. Somebody I looked up to, but I really look up to Dr. Dude. <laughs> I really love Father God and his son Jesus, so that happened in two weeks ago, it was. It was uh, a person of less fame or popularity or celebrity walked into the area where we were all training with elite athletes and somebody just said, said, don't you hate it when they come over here and like interrupt or whatever. And it just, that's what broke my heart that couple weeks ago. Ah, Stormy, there's no biting. So remember that. So love everybody, serve and humble yourself. That's what it was all about. And 1 Peter 5, uh, 1 Peter 5, 9, the enemy, the enemy goes around like a roaring lion looking for somebody to devour. Just like this. She just totally bit me right here. She really wants me to pet her for some reason. She's trying to tell me something. But uh, that's it. Alright, pray for me. Pray for my family. Continue to be in prayers for my brother. My brother, that he draws closer to God and that his whole family does. That him and his wife together draw closer to God. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. But like I texted him, I said... I hope you're fulfilling God's will. God's will is always being fulfilled, but I'm sure he wants me and you to get much closer, too. So so it was just me and him and uh, Isabella hanging out the other night uh, at Northland Church, and it was pretty cool. His wife was there, me and him couldn't hang out as, as much. But even when his wife's there, I'm still myself and still talking to all of them. I try to make it fun. Uh, God shows up, all right? Be in the Word of God. Read some of these scriptures. you got to learn the truths and the promises of God's. How he's for us and not against us. We're more the conquerors. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Oh, and hundreds more. Read all of Jeremiah 29. That is awesome. All right? From then to now. From then to now. What all the Israelites, all the Jews went through to now. Right? I love you guys. Um, 
say in the word of God and pray. Focus on the cross. Don't lose focus. Something will come. The enemy will come to distract you, but don't lose focus, all right? Just be the light, unconditional love, all right? Humble yourself and you'll be exalted. Exalt yourself and you will be humble. It's not fun getting humble. Just, uh, I remember, remember John 3.16, of course, that um, God sent his only begotten son to die for us. So we, so we, to die for us, so we shouldn't perish, but have eternal life, eternal life and life with God up in heaven, you know, and be filled with the Holy Spirit. And uh, remember that, that's super important. He's the only one that's ever, ever done that. He sacrificed his son and his son resurrected and uh, came off his throne down here to live with us for 33 plus years and die a horrible death. So nobody else has ever done that and will do that. Maybe they'll fake try to sacrifice humans in other religions in third world countries. But no. Nobody's ever resurrected except for Jesus Christ. Sorry. And uh, performed all these miracles and healings. And had so many witnesses. It's pretty awesome. So remember that, okay? That's, that's, that's why we're Christians. If there was never that um, death and resurrection, uh, we would never validate that he was Christ Messiah that came here. Uh, the virgin birth kind of kind of helped out. <laughs> Alright, we're about to celebrate that stuff. Christmas is coming. Holiday spirit is here already. Walmart's got all their evaporated milk, yams, and pumpkin pumpkin pie mix, so it's got to be Christmas coming. I love you guys. See you later.